Got him. Oh man, oh man. Get him, Adam, get him, Adam, get him, Adam, get him. What is going on, people? Welcome back to the channel, guys. So today, me and my buddy Adam over here from Teal Fishing, we have What's a little up, challenge for y'all today. We're gonna do one versus one cheap rod and reel combo setup. Now, Adam got his combo off. Where'd you get it from, Adam? I got it from Amazon. Let me show it to you. Show us that bad boy. Check this out. $39.99 on Prime. I'll tell you this, though. We were just checking this out. We're pretty sure this is a spinning rod they sent. It was just a package deal that I bought, so we'll see how it does. Yeah, Adam's looks way better than mine. Mine, I uh, was not able to get for $40, which it should totally have been priced at, but it is a Abu Garcia Mike Iconelli, but it is a learn to cast bait caster, and it's got these weird knobs and stuff blocking the spool. So, you know, we're gonna see, it was $48.88, so a little higher than Adam's, but it was the cheapest one Walmart had that was a full on combo. So today we're gonna put these two uh, combos to the test, and we're gonna see who can catch the most bass, and whoever catches the most bass, I'm gonna say it, Adam, they get to keep both rods. All right, that'll work. Because if I lose, I ain't going to ever use this again. <laughs> <laughs> Might lose on purpose. Might lose on purpose. But guys, y'all stay tuned. This is going to be an interesting challenge. So I'll see y'all on the water. That's what that does. What the on and off switch is your tension. When you put it on, oh, there you go. it don't do nothing. But when you turn it off, it drops. Okay, we're figuring you out. Over here, our chatterbait. You just want to get one on the board real quick. There he is. Top water fluke bite, guys. Ugh. First one on the board. Sweet. Let's go. I was just saying, I do good weightless over here. He hit it on top of the water. Love it when that happens. Check it out. First one on the board. Reeled in my first fish on that combo. It hasn't broken yet, but this one, oh boy, he stinks. Boy, what'd you eat for breakfast? Yeah. First one, rod didn't break. Let's see if we can get another one. Got him. I hope it's not just lily pads. No, oh, ooh, that's a good one. Bring him here, dude. I'm that's, coming out. I'm just keep reeling. That's a big one. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Get him, Adam. Get him, Adam. Get him, Adam. Get him. Did you get him? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh terrible high five. Oh. <laughs> Look at the head on this joker, dude. <laughs> oh, he was barely hooked. That's oh. what I'm talking about. Oh. Hell yeah. All I saw was my foot just go down and just disappear. Yeah. Oh my Jeez. gosh, he was barely hooked. You're not even kidding. Golly. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh sorry. Here, you're in the line. Ugh. You're good, you're good, you're good. He swam right into my hand. I can't believe that just happened. After losing that one over there, catching. You did it right, dude. You that kept tension on it. Donkey. <laughs> Look at it. On the old fluke. That is insane. In the Abu Garcia. And it just pops right out. Golly. He was barely even skin hooked. That I can't believe that happened. Good job. I cannot dude. believe that happened. I'm glad we're going off for quantity, not quality, because you'd be having me beat. Hey, that yeah. is insane. Just spot real quick. Oh man. Alright guys. I just caught this one on that 4888 Abu Garcia learn how to cast bait caster on the fluke. I cannot believe that happened. I was just popping the fluke, all of a sudden it just straight up disappeared. But that is just a beautiful, beautiful big bass. 
it was just barely skin hooked any type of giveaway that would have gave this fish and it would have been gone just absolutely gone oh, what a good job dude. Bass. all right get a release on this big boy I can't believe you set the hook with that pole on that fish. And he's he gone. Lose him. He's gone. Give me some, brother. Oh. Good job, dude. Oh, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> Let's get back in there. Let's get it. Let's get it. There he is. Get him. He smoked it. Yes, sir. There we go. About the same size as the first one. Back on the fluke. Two to one. Two to one. Even though you're one weight as much as these two. There we go, guys. Good looking little old greenback right there. It's two to one. Let's get back in there. What the hell? Was that a fish? That was a fish. I thought you were slinging something. No. I think that was a bass, man. That wasn't a carp. That was just like a torpedo. I wonder if he, I just reeled in. I wonder if he was chasing my fish. He might have been. Went straight airborne on for that fluke. There he is. Biggin' <laughs> on the lizard. Three to one, old dark reel. Yeah. Still don't think I've met the weight you've caught so far, though, and I got three fish. Big end. Good thing my camera was pointed to where y'all could see me. Psych. That's number three if you missed it. There you go. Good one. Flip them in here. Six pounds. Get in the boat. Patience. Paid off. Yes. Let's go, guys. What does that Stop. make it? Three to two? Yeah, three to two. Got him right at the bottom of the lip. Came right out. Yes, sir. Got him. Number two. That's funny. I just seen a bass chasing bait. It was on the outside edge. Oh shit, I forgot I had it set up for punching. Oh no. I got a fish. There's a fish on it. Are you serious? Yep. Look at it. He's running with it. Get him, get him, get him, get him. You got him? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Old backlash fish. Stay down. <laughs> That's awesome. Little guy. Oh no. I ain't got the backbone to flip. Surprised he didn't swallow it as long as he had it. Here we go, guys. Backlash fish strikes again. They all fall victim to the wacky worm once in a while. Ooh, hit the deck. There he is, cuz. Let's go get us another one. I'm there he is. Oh, missed him. He was running with it. There's another one. Look at my line. See it? Yep, going tight. There he is. They call me the Dink Master. <laughs> we on them, cuz. <laughs> I'm running away with it. As old Eddie would say, this is where the cowboy rides away. Biggin. Yeah. Biggin. 
Coming back. Oh, under the boat. Flip them up in here. Oh! I should have got the net. Dang. I wasn't even recording. <laughs> Dang it. Never listen to me when I just say flip them up in here. I'm a bad influence. <sighs> this poor thin freaking line couldn't handle it. We've seen it happen. Ting. Change it out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because <laughs> that was only about a two pound fighter, but. He couldn't take the flip. He could not take the flip, nope. It's okay, we're breaking it down. Pros and cons on the rods and reel combo. If this one came with line, I was gonna change it. I should have. <laughs> I definitely should have, but I was like, you know what? It might be okay. It's Berkeley. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing for you. That's the crap they sweep up off the floor at Berkeley. Probably is. Put yeah. on a reel. A dental floss. Mm -hmm. But it's all good. I got one. Ooh, I seen him flash at it. There he is. Smack City. Got him one, cuz. He was just tearing it up. Yeah, that one that was back there, man. He hit it hard as crap. It went ting ting. I just want to take your picture. Relax. There we go, guys. Can't catch a ball if you can't catch them small. Small for the camera. Got him. Here, I'm, you gonna flip or you want me to grab him? Uh, he, he, can, he can flip. Got him. Let's go, dude. Yes. We on him now. I finally redeemed myself. So what does that make? Is that three for you? All right, guys, here is number three. Finally switched to the wacky setup like Adam's been telling me all day to do. <laughs> yeah, number three. Freaking cheekbone, I hate that. There we go. Number three. You check them out. Not a bad little fish, pretty. I think yours isn't making any more crazy noise than it did when you first started. No, nope, same noises. Mine's like locking up and just the tension's coming and going. I don't know, dude. I wouldn't recommend them to anybody. Because <laughs> I've caught, what, seven fish and it's it's probably on the edge of just falling apart. Yeah. Now, if you were buying a rod for a kid that wanted to have a bait cache but didn't know how to use it, yeah, for sure. You know, I think yours, I can see the mindset behind the way they have that set up to teach people how to throw a bait caster. Yeah. It probably is easier to go to that before you go straight to a bait caster. I mean, of course, I didn't even really use the button thing. I just had it off the entire time. I never put it on. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't really get the whole concept of why it flips open and why you go back and forth. I, I really didn't get that. All right, guys, so it was a rough day. Adam came out the champion on this one. How That's many did you catch? Uh, 37. No, just playing. I caught seven. <laughs> it felt like 37. Yep. And I caught three, but we started off that day with that giant, giant bass. That was, I'm really surprised that this combo right here from Walmart was able to catch that bass, especially with the drag tighten all the way down, and it was still pulling drag. But anyway, as I said in the beginning of the video, the winner was going to get the rod, and Adam, here you go. So you can give that away on your 200 subscriber giveaway that you're doing. That's right. So guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to like, subscribe to Adam teal over here his name is teal fishing and make sure to go subscribe and enter your chance to win this awesome bait caster right here guys i'll catch y'all on the next one peace <laughs>